we're 45, 45 Spacer, Spacer. You and you're watching, watching the Permanent, permanent Rain Press. press. Today I am here with 45 Spacer. How are you doing today? We're good. Great. Awesome to hear, except it's kind of wet outside, so. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you guys don't really mind that. No. Used to it from Vancouver. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so for those who haven't heard of you before, could you introduce yourselves and your roles in the band, but you have to say it in a different style or accent? A different style or accent? Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm sure. Sean. I'm the bassist. <laughs> That's what I do. Um. Patrick. <laughs> I'm Jack and I'm the lead singer and guitarist. Were those all supposed to be the same accent? I don't know. I don't know. It came out. Yeah. Those are good introductions nonetheless. So I wanted to start off by talking a bit about your beginnings. 45 Spacer officially kind of formed in 2013. What was kind of that initial spark that made you want to pursue music? Um, We started off like the we started playing as a band when Pat was in grade I think five probably yeah. and I was in like grade seven and there was like some talent show at my school and there was this band we liked called the Kooks and they played a song called Sway and anyway we started jamming that and we decided we were gonna play at our talent show and that's kind of how we started playing and from there on we've just been writing and recording and releasing talent shows since today. And then you kind of joined the band recently. Yeah, right? pretty recently. Yeah, I, I don't even know when. Like. Probably September. September, I think. Yeah, that's when we've I. Been, my we've been. We tried for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. They always they were nagging me for playing the bass and stuff. I didn't actually play at the time, um, but yeah, and then I just started playing because they needed a bassist, and I got really into it. So You're like that commodity that they yeah, really wanted. Totally, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in a past interview, you mentioned that you kind of draw inspiration from a wide variety of genres: pop, rock, punk. Funk, with the upcoming release, do you think you've kind of crafted that sound you were looking for? I think slowly we have been. I think we've been developing as a band. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, we've been right. Well, for the, the newer stuff that we're working on in the basement right now in our studio is going to sound pretty different from the, the older stuff, but it's still got the same, like, 45 space or big pop melodies and awesome, I don't know, music to go with it. And... I think over time you, your sound constantly develops, and I don't think we'll ever stick to one sound because we love exploring new areas. And um, but I think for this EP and what we're doing in the basement is kind of getting close to yeah. what we want to yeah. give to the audience. So that's for sure. Yeah. What can you kind of share about the upcoming release? Is it pretty much done recording and? Um, what's that mean exactly? Is it done recording? Done like, recording. Like a, we're oh, still we're working on it in the basement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I think, no, we're, we're not done recording, I mean, they're just demos we're creating in the basement, but, um, what would you share about them? What would I share about them? Um, I don't know, what would you? I think they're a lot bigger than what, uh, what a lot of people are accustomed to from hearing from us. Definitely. A bigger sound. Um, more production. A lot more production, yeah, in a good way. Um, those songs are ready for stadiums. Yeah, they're, they're definitely ready for yeah. stadiums, not more little exactly. gigs, but, yeah. um, I think everyone's going to enjoy it. More 45 Space Art albums. Yeah, yeah, totally. And I was um, going to mention that you guys have said you're working in your basement a lot, whether you're songwriting or doing kind of that recording process, but you haven't played a lot of local gigs yet, so what's up for you in 2016? Any more local shows, or are you thinking kind of more big scale, maybe some tours? Both, actually. Yeah, um, yeah we've, got, we've got a lot of stuff actually happening right now. Works. In the summer, we, we're setting up a tour actually this summer, hopefully in California, to go through California, maybe start in LA and then go down the coast. We don't, we're not too sure yet, but that's in the works. And then we also have a couple potential gigs in February coming up. So, yeah, we're, we've are we been building up the set, we've been writing a lot, we've been rehearsing a lot, and now we're ready to just go play and blow everyone's brains. Yeah. So, that's going to be fun. Yeah. And the shows that you have played, they did have a good, a great turnout. You know, a lot of fans coming out. So, what, what can you say about that? Um, the shows we, like the last, I think the biggest, the last biggest show we played was in California. I think. Yeah. And that one was insane. The fans were great, and people were singing along to the words, which was really cool for me. Yeah. Everyone's singing back to me the the lyrics we've been writing for years, so that was really interesting. And uh, the fans are really engaged, and it's it's great. It's really great. Awesome. So obviously lots of fun stuff coming up for you guys in the new year, or in 2016. So we're going to play a quick fire questions game now. 
Sure. So how it works is I'm going to say a few words and after each one I say, each of you is to say the first thing that comes to your head. But the catch is no repeat, so if someone else says it first, you have to change your answer up. Sweet. And it's basically like a free-for-all, so as soon as it comes to you, you cool. should say it out loud. Okay. School. School. Uh, music. Did you say a word? Yeah. Um, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, math, that's what I think about. Pizza. Uh, Hawaiian. Pepperoni. Sauce. <laughs> Hockey. Uh, Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, New Jersey Devils. Um, I guess I'll go with the Colorado Avalanche. Alpaca. Spaghetti. That's what I think of. Hair. Hair. Dynamite. <laughs> Beach. Grease. Sand. Kitsilano. And I have to do this one for the fans at Once Upon a Time. Once Upon uh, a Time. Lana. Yeah, definitely. Lana. Oh, no, yeah. repeats, bro. No repeats. Oh. Uh, evil Queen. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, costumes. That's a pretty good one. They do have some awesome costumes yeah. on the show. I would declare you the winner because it seems awesome. like both of you are looking towards Sean for the first <laughs> answer. <laughs> yeah. So now it's time for the arts and crafts portion of the interview. So this is. You guys are going to be drawing the best representations of your fans, um, each of you, and then you have one and a half minutes to do so, so take a good look at one another and see what you want to draw. <laughs> um, and then it's kind of like a fun competition, but at the end we will be giving these off to some lucky fans, so make it as best as you can. Hopefully you're feeling artistically okay. and fun today. Cool. Ready? Right. Let's do this. Okay, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can hold it up for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Rock on, dude. Yeah, I suck. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> what is your say? <laughs> so we can see what it. <laughs> you drew two members, so someone's not in the picture. <laughs> Those are all pretty good, I would say, for Sweet. a minute and a half. We can let people watching decide the winner there. But um, we're going to end things off with our signature question. If each of you could be any ice cream flavor, which would you be and why? Rainbow. Rainbow. Oreo cookie. Why? Why? Because all I see is <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's some sort of like psychedelic. <laughs> all I see is rainbows. <laughs> Um, oh God, I need French vanilla because, you know, I like French kissing. It's good. I like Oreo cookies. <laughs> I guess all kind of fitting answers yeah. there. So that about wraps things up. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to chat with us. Um, 45 Spacer has a big 2016 ahead. Make sure you check out their social media links. We'll be posting them below to stay updated. And can you end things off with a quick message to your fans at the camera? Um, um, thank you guys for watching. and. Keep checking up on us. Yeah, There's big things to awesome come. Things, yeah. Yeah. Thank you.